Hello, my name is Asher, and I will be doing my capstone on artificial intelligence. Alma and Elise, chatbots, deep blue. These are all forms of early artificial intelligence, or AI. Now it has developed so much, I wanted to know how it changed over time. In order to answer this question, I broke it up into smaller parts. These questions include, who created AI? What AI looked like when it first started? What are the major ways AI has changed over time? What AI looks like today and how we use it in businesses and everyday use? Who created AI? Alan Matheson Turn was the original creator of AI. In World War II, he deciphered codes and he learned how to do that at Betchley Park. Alan Turn invented the modern computer and worked on the first thinking machines in the 1940s. They were called universal Turing machines. It used math and symbols that compute problems that mimic the behavior of algorithms. He wondered if he could make a robot as smart as a human, but they are different. But intelligence is intelligence. As you can see, Alan was very smart throughout his years and helped us make the world we see today. While thinking machines were the first form of AI, there are other early forms. Did you know there was a robot named Elmer and Elise? In 1940, William Gray Walter made them. Elmer and Elise were four-wheeled robots and had sort of a weird shape, like turtle shells, and they followed light and stayed away from the dark. Finally, Deep Blue is another example of early artificial intelligence, or AI. It's a robot that plays chess against other players. It's online. It's not a robot. It scans many different options to win. While these forms of early artificial intelligence are not as smart as the intelligence we see today, but they still do mimic human intelligence to a great extent. After Alan Turing's forms and other earlier forms, AI has continued to change and advance over the years. In 1982, the movie Blade Runner was made. It has AI so human-like they lived around people undetected. In the article, AI and Robotics, these replicants demonstrated highly sophisticated cognitive functions and even emotions, highlighting a future where AI could potentially mimic human behavior to a great extent. In 2007, Hanson Robotics was founded. They created a robot that acts, speaks, and moves like a human. Additionally, AI can help analyze a lot of data and put it into a format that's easy to understand. AI has been using machine learning to make it better. As you know, electric cars are becoming more and more popular. Many of these cars have self-driving features. These self-driving features work because there are these invisible lasers that can bounce off of things, such as a tree, a bicycle, or another car. Facial recognition is another kind of newer AI. It scans your face and makes triangles, for example, a nose or an eye. Spot the dog is another example of early, uh, newer artificial intelligence. Spot is very interactive and he can help you with anything you need. He has so many features such as a 3D image camera and he has heat sensors for poison and fire. AI can help with so many aspects of our daily lives, such as in health and businesses. In health, AI can help because if you have a skin issue, you can send a photo to a doctor and you'll receive information about it, how to solve it, and what it is. AI can help in businesses to go through messages. According to Forbes advisor, 97% of businesses owners believe that ChatGPT will help their business. While one in three businesses plan to use ChatGPT to write website content, and 44% of businesses plan to use ChatGPT to write website content in other languages. All in all, AI has changed so much over the years, from chatbots to self-driving cars, 
from Elmer and Elise to facial recognition, I think it will change so much more and more and become so much better. Next time you go to your house, think about where you can find AI and how it is AI. Maybe it doesn't come to your mind at first, but you're smarter than a computer.